going on guys we are out here on a pretty freezing cold morning sorry about that John is making a bit of a face <laughs> we're out here on a bit of a cold morning um, we were actually going to head out to the local lines with these big tides but the wind sort of turned a bit south so we decided not to as you can see it's a little bit rocky so we thought we'd stay in close and we chase some finger mark um, and yeah so we're just gonna head out sound around sound some deep ledges and go from there and see if we can find any I actually haven't had much luck with big finger marks to be honest. Um, my biggest I think is like 41 or 42 centimetres, so I'm really hoping I can beat that today. Um, I'm out here with Jono and Lee, so we'll see how we go and we'll keep you posted. Had a hit. I had that nibble, man. Okay. That. Finger marks. Yeah, baby. My man. Hey, that's, that's my biggest finger mark. Is it? All right, guys. I'm not too sure what happened with the audio here. Um, I think all the wind sort of stuffed it all up. But all I was saying in this clip was that, you know, finger marks don't generally release well over seven to eight meters. Um, they actually get really, really bad bowel trauma. So this fish here, I had every intention of releasing, but when I had him in my hand, I don't know if you can see this, he actually bloated like massively um, to the point where the, it was no point to release him. The only way I could really do it was if I needled him and I didn't have the appropriate stuff. So we took him home, we ate him. I didn't want the fish to go to waste. He was absolutely delicious. And I highly recommend, you know, if you do manage to catch one or two, take them home, try them, because they're absolutely awesome. But that's why there's no voiceover to this little bit of a clip. But what can we do about it? That's just, the wind just stuffed all that up. All right, so it was a pretty awesome day on the finger mark. Like I only managed to get one, dropped another one as you could tell with that hit. Um, but that's, you know, that's fishing sometimes. I never really targeted these fish. And the fact that I even landed one on my first attempt of chasing them was just unbelievable. I was so pumped over that. Um, but anyway, like I hope you enjoyed the video. These these fish are something that I'm going to put some more effort into trying to catch them, just because they're they're something I want to tick off my bucket list. I'd love to get one over 70 um, this year. But hey, if you've got any if you've got any tips on chasing them, let me know. Message me on Instagram. The links in below, or even comment because I'll tell you what, I have no idea how to chase these guys. All I did was try and find a ledge and find bait, and I managed to find one. But I'd love to find some of the bigger ones. So if you have any tips, hints. All that kind of stuff. Leave a comment below or message me on Instagram and um, man, I'll take that on board and it'll be greatly appreciated. Also, another news, Real Outlaws just got some new shirts out. Um, the white with the Real Outlaws at the front here and the new camo hat with the Real Outlaws. I love this hat, fits awesomely. It's just fantastic. I mean, they're all really, really good stuff but this is a new one and I absolutely love it. So make sure you check them out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, get yourself one. Even if you message Real Outlaws on Instagram and say that Kyle sent you, I'm sure they'll look after you. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.